And we are live. Hip hoping is coming to you today in a live transmission. My name is Michelle Ashira. Thank you for staying tuned for the longest period of time. And we are headed till 10 30 at Michelle Ashira is where you can get me. Stay live because we got so many stories coming your way, and I'm not alone. Yes, I am your host, Adio Go. It's all, it's all asleep in the hip hop world all day, every day. But we bring it to you twice as much every Thursday morning, bringing you all the news, local and international. Welcome to hip hop. Exactly. So, start us, let's just, you know, dive slide. into it. Oh, okay. Oh, Not slide. slide in. Dive. Slide to okay. Us. So, <laughs> that, that one, that one. Okay, so this time round, uh, a FMC, one known FMC with lots of viewers known as Grace from a couple known as Soulmate has just released a diss track to Femi One. This happens and the name of the song is known as Femi Kuro. I don't know how she came up with that name and title. And uh, the, the, the song actually is very uh, vulgar. Too many, too many nasty too many words hashtags. have been used. So <laughs> the bad blood came after rapper Grace commented on her latest song, Heo One. And uh, she pointed out that Femi One had a lot to learn in the game. Femi One replied telling her to hit the studio if she had anything to say. According to the Grace, the rapper, FMC, she's confident enough that taken to Femi One's hood, <coughs> that is way back in Dandora, she will walk away with the crowd. This comes when Femi One is promoting her new coming EP known as to 25th, 25th. We'll be dropping on this month. Yes. That, that would be awesome. Like, she goes to a hood and then takes the crowd. Like, that would be awesome. I would really like to see yeah, that. Yeah, I would like to see that too. But I feel like she's much into, you know, energy feels sana. Like, she's too much confident. She's <laughs> overconfident. And if she goes, she'll just walk away with, uh, you know, February one's crowd. But I think, I think that's, what, that's, what, that I, that's the nature of hip-hop. If you, if you really don't act aggressive, it's like mm. boxing, you know. You, you, you always do the nasty talk, but when the fight comes, it's always something different. So you never really know. Yeah, I would like to see, like, a one on one freestyle between the two FMCs, you know, Grace here and then Femi one here dropping and then, you know. Like Eight Miles. Like Even in a walk a movie. If it, like the way they do it in Eight Miles. Oh, yeah, Eminem. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, looking forward stage. towards that. And speaking about these tracks. Yeah, speaking about these tracks. Now you all remember the uh, the Nipsey Hustle story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lost Nipsey Hustle. God rest his soul in peace. But after that, there's a lot that has really uh, surrounded the story. Mm -hmm. uh, but it started with uh, Kodak Black speaking uh, nasty to Lauren London, Nipsey Hussle's girlfriend. And after that, so many musicians really uh, didn't like the way he spoke. And um, most of them really came against him for that. I saw that on Instagram. Yes, stories. yes. So many, so many musicians came, especially the. Uh, T.I., Lil Wayne, uh, there are so many musicians. So who what did. exactly did he say? Like, is he making moves on Lauren? Yeah, kind of. It's, it's, it's really not. Yeah, he actually said he's, he's giving her an ear to moon. And oh. then after that, he'll be coming to like, yeah. You know, slide into the DM already. Hashtag. Yeah. Now, uh, after that, uh, so many, uh, there was uh, so many back and forth. Uh, of words, mm, uh, but uh, T.I. later on uh, went on and removed uh, Nipsey, uh, went and removed Kodak Black's uh, monument art from the Trap Museum, okay. uh, which Kodak Black really took it so badly because yeah. he really uh, went on and spoke harshly about uh, T.I. on the Instagram saying that he didn't mm. even want to be there in the first place. He didn't even give him permission to put him there in the first mm. place. He doesn't really care much about that. So T.I. went on uh, and released that song that people mm. presumed was a distract to Kodak Black, but he didn't really say that. Uh, if, if they can actually play it, it was really interesting. If uh, the director can hear us, if you can get the first distract from uh, T.I. It was not really a distract, but let's just listen to it. I feel like uh, at the end of the day, it, it was T.I. and then you have Kodak Black. These are two different generations. Kodak yeah, Black they, is yeah, the actually, modern kind of vibe of people. You know, most people... And then T.I. is an old school kind of guy. True. Uh, I feel like Kodak Black was very disrespectful to, to Lauren, Lauren yeah. London. Uh, and the fact also to the legacy, you know, of Nipsey Nipsey, Hussle, it's wrong to true. just make a move on a lady who is actually mourning yeah, and true. make fun of it. Because I also saw it on Insta stories, he was just having a good time with friends. And I remember there's one of the guy, a friend, who said, like, uh, don't you think it's too early to 
to make to such, comments. such comments. And he was true. like, no, no, it's not too early. It is disrespectful. But again, T.I. was like, uh, you know, you stop whatever you're doing. And he went as far as dissing T.I.'s lady. Tanya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or on his response to this one, which mm -hmm. was not really confirmed if it was a distract. Mm -hmm. uh, Kodak Black re re uh, released his own distract. And then T.I. and I finally eventually now released an actual distract to, mm -hmm. to Kodak Black. But I think the thing is, uh, you do realize that some people are actually supporting Kodak Black because some people are actually saying that T.I. is really riding on, uh, on, the, on, on the fame of the, oh. of the whole incident. But uh, T.I. on, on T.I.'s response, he actually said that he doesn't really need to ride in any fame response yeah, because he's, he's actually really, famous already. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, um, I think I think people are just making so much of this, and uh, mm -hmm. they just should just drop it and let it go. But I think it's the ego thing that is working right now. Yeah, so I also no saw, one I also saw Rick Ross mentioning it on uh, his uh, and Rick social Ross media is actually handles, supporting and he's like, and he's like he's supporting Kodak Black and saying that Tia is just like uh, faking its hypocrisy, considering like the wifey Tiny will had an affair with. Uh, actually, I think I think uh, the whole idea was Mayweather. So yeah, actually, I think the, the real thing uh, alleged alleged affair. Allegedly. Alleged affair. Okay. <laughs> now I think the thing is uh, the thing is uh, with what people okay uh, with Rick Ross angle he was saying mm -hmm. that um. We all know who Kodak Black is. We all know he can't listen. We all know he's that crazy. So I think you just coming on him is just like trying to make something out of it because we all know this one is lost cause. Yeah, I feel like also in the district he said like uh, uh, you're trying to you know get my attention and uh, speak out to me, but you know like I don't care. So you know, I don't want to dive into. Let's just move on, right? Let's yeah, move on. Let's move on to the next story. So let's get into another story. What that is on Xtali. So Kenyan rap, female rapper, uh, FMC known as Xtali. She has been doing good and she has been featured on Calicatal 2 by like Calicat Jones. Yeah. And she's been to the music scene doing an amazing job. Yes. Uh, she's, she spoke about the femicides that have been happening in the country, the women being killed uh, in a love triangle relationship. True. And she also highlighted on other issues such as homophobia and then there's, uh, there's atheism and then there's atheophobia. So just the fact that whatever I believe in, as long as it doesn't hurt, she just st walk away. And uh, so this, the most important thing about this particular story is that she pointed out that femicide, it's wrong. And people, no matter whatever happened between the couples, it should not be brought out as their ideology that it's okay. Because there's some memes going around yeah. of uh, axes and people are actually promoting the idea like uh, it, it, it's wrong. It doesn't ma matter whatever happened between two loved, one, loved ones. True, true. Uh, no matter what happened, just walk away. It doesn't have to go all the way. Yeah. I, I believe so. I believe so. And it's really, it's, 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 it's quite a stand that she's taking. And I'm really supporting her because this is, this is something that everybody should be speaking out on. Mm. And uh, so far, the way you look at it, no one's really talking about that particular matter in this, all, on all these incidents that have been happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, there, there are deaths involved, but still. There are still lives involved. Yeah, so up on the screen is uh, on her Instagram account, and she says, Just thought I should post this because it's mood right now. Because imagine I got kids and siblings and a household to be taken care of, and a birthday coming up to show up. I'm grown as woman to, yeah, there she said that. And then I don't argue, I see, and I delete, I block, and continue. So here's the most important aspect of it she mm -hmm. speaks on uh, narratives or conversations that should change for the safety of humans. If you if you sexist, misogynistic, femicide, and rape apologies on money, even homophobic. Homophobic. Yeah, and ethophobic. So what she's saying is that as long as your truth and your beliefs does not affect the other person, you don't have the right to interfere in one's space. Just let everyone be and let sure. them be uh, happy. That's true. That's really true. Exactly. So let's move on to another story. <laughs> now, yeah, there is Zach Static, the beautiful rapper. So the if beautiful you Miss listen Static. to her music, yeah, I remember can like check her out. Just recently, she mm -hmm. was uh, she, she she had a, she had a hubby problem where hubby was in the hospital and she mm -hmm. was really asking for people to actually give her support. So I, I mm -hmm. hope that went well with her. Mm -hmm. I'm really rooting for her. I still want to see her back in the music scene full wholeheartedly because it's like being bits of her. Okay. Giving her all the support. So the love to ecstatic. <laughs> okay, now on Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, uh, wow, there's really so much to say on mm. Soldier Boy that I can't really even know how to start. Now, Soldier Boy was arrested recently, but before we get to that, let's just start with the whole story. Now, Soldier Boy bailed on a concert. He was supposed to be performing this month, but he bailed from the concert. Now, it all started because he was paid for this concert in January. And he took he, the money. Yeah, he, he was given the down payment in January, $8,750. 8, That's like... 
eight million and the couple yes, of and he was <laughs> and he was supposed to be performing this weekend but he bailed on the concert now as if karma didn't come and come and come so he went on and got arrested and after that um he was uh he was arrested for violating his probation now he has been in um he has been in probation for like a what uh like about since 2014 yeah because he was uh, convicted like eight years ago yeah yeah see he has been in probation for since 2014 mm. but he violated his probation now he was arrested now because of that he's he's now cancelled two more shows wow wait this is a lot and i'm <laughs> trying to you know get it all in so here's the thing so he has been arrested for violating the probation probation so he has he's yet to get the memo that he's actually that he, being charged that for he's another being, being charged lawsuit. For, for, for lawsuit for skipping the event the, the event. concert yeah true and because of that he has because of being arrested because he'll be in jail until 30th of april which is his next hearing so next hearing is 30th of, 30th april. of april now he he will have to cancel two more shows oh that guy. he had organized now because <laughs> he has a lot going on he has yeah, a lot going on he has two more lawsuits on on the road and I don't even think how he's going to handle this and the way he's oh. arrogant and he's been losing money of late even his game uh, he, he was he was get, getting into the gaming world mm -hmm. and a lot a lot is really going bad for mm. soldier boy and, but to make any common <laughs> I don't know, but that. the way he started is was in was in late 2018 or uh, yeah early 2019. He was very hyped up of the yeah, com remember. coming back to the scene and then he's seeing uh, Drake and he's like Drake. This is actually a meme going around and everything else. But such a boy, yo, you have long going on in your plate. So I don't know. I just even know how to relate. Right? So okay, so let's look into more of a good story. Like let's come back home, yeah. Come back home. Yeah. Okay, give me some home. Come story. boy. Our come boy has actually eventually into uh, the fashion lifestyle aspect of it. He's not just doing crap, but his conscious decision to get into the cloth line. I'm talking about Mbidi. So Mbidi has launched uh, his uh, new cloth line. And uh, guys, if you love his music, this is what you do. You get to his Instagram, you, pro you promote a fellow Kenyan artist who is actually getting into the entrepreneurial aspect of it. So there are some lovely t-shirts will be coming your way and also other form of design. So we are looking forward to see what he got for us throughout this year. To be honest, I'm really proud of him. I'm really happy because mm -hmm. he's not been in the industry for long and the progress that he's making is really intense. I mean, mm. people, are, people are still getting to know him, but the way he's moving, is moving like he's been in the game for like forever, you know? Mm -hmm. And I really like the progress that he's making. I really like the, the, the energy that he's coming into this with. Kamba boy for life. I mean, this I love Kamba boy for life. <laughs> yes. I and delay hivo hivo because he's really, really, really putting like when you show when you make up for long. What have you done? Like yes. I have not seen you like. But I love if he's just in his lane. Yeah, yeah he's in his lane. He's not competing mm. with anyone. And the way he's coming, me, I love his energy. I just mm. love his energy. I love his passion. Na kila kitu now. Go on with the same passion. Yes. And speaking about nice energies, good vibe. We're talking about. Uh, Ludacris and uh, Luda Chris and Timberland. Luda Chris and Timberland. Now Luda is back. Luda is back in studio, which uh, which is something to actually speak. No, I'm 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 a, I'm a great. It's not that I don't appreciate what new hip hop is uh, has, has done to me, mm -hmm. but I, I'm a really really great fan of all hip hop. And so whenever I hear like an OG coming back to do music, I'm really proud and happy. Now this in this particular instance, it, it so happens to be Ludacris. Okay. Now Ludacris is back in on the studio. Uh, he'll be teaming up with uh, Timbaland, who'll be his producer. They mm -hmm. have worked together for so many times. In fact, I think Ludacris uh, Timbaland worked on his uh, first album. Now these two have been like all up and about. But one thing you have to really recognize is. Ludacris has been in the industry since 2000, so this will be his 20th, 10th, two, this will be his 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary. And down the line, he has produced nine, nine albums. albums. Okay. This will be his 10th, 10th. album, which uh -huh. is something that not so many musicians have done. Uh -huh. But check it out, check it out. On what uh, what he said, what he said on the on the video when he released the, yes. the upcoming. Let's one. listen what he has to say. Pass me by, and I mean, I I can't even. It's when I think about, I've done nine albums. I'm just like. I can't even count. Like I don't even know all of them by, by heart at this time. So it's just, I kind of over exceeded my own expectations, and I think that's, that's that's any rapper's dream, man. You know what I mean? Like, like I think in our, in, our, in every rapper's mind, we kind of all have a sense of maybe how many albums we want to do. You know, until we go to the next phase or next stage in our life or or do something different. And so for me, I'm one of those people that's able to live out the dreams of what most people I feel like the two top tier dream jobs are it's like rapper slash rock star and a movie star and you know humbly speaking man I've been able to experience both so 
I couldn't be more thankful and blessed. It's that simple, bro. Album 10. Anytime I see Timberland, I know good music is coming. You wear that guy in production. Yeah, of course. I remember I saw it on uh, YouTube, the fact that the way he comes up with these instruments. For my actually, I, I, I don't know if this is the right word. Yeah, like using the mouth to produce beats. Beatboxing. Yeah, that yo. Beatboxing. There. Thank you. So he goes there. Anyway. I really, I really, I really, I, I, I'm really nice looking album. forward to his tenth album. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know they have something good cooking for us, and I believe we fit slow, it's Luda. Stand up. Anyway, it was amazing. Yeah. Anyway, moving forward. Um, since Nipsey Hussle passing, there's been a lot of uh, gun-related incidents that are, are involving hip-hop artists. Now, this has raised a lot of concern to the hip-hop community. Most people are saying, do they are they all the ones who are attacking this kind of activities around them, or is it just karma or mm -hmm. something that just for me, I thought like it happens in movies, like you're in a studio, and then guys just come in and like they just start. Yeah, so recently, but it doesn't happen. Yeah, it's recently, recently, Walker Foka, who is back by mm -hmm. the way, he had retired. <laughs> And now he's back doing music, but um, Walker uh, was in the studio. Uh, they were they were trying. He was working on his uh, new 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 song, but um, guys showed up and uh, sprayed bullets. Actually, they they used that word sprayed bullets, bullets. on the studio, uh, like qua studio. Like me at a CLA, when you're in a fanica, like it's just taking. Brrr. When you so they're movie. in the studio. While walk studio, and guys came up and just shot at the place, and uh, it really, really got them really, really routed up. Uh, fortunately, no one, uh, a walk of fucker wasn't uh, shot, but uh, one of his friends uh, was shot in the arm. Police mm -hmm. later on came up, and uh, they, they, they sorted the issue. They're still looking for the people who are actually involved in that thing, but uh, right now investigation is pending. But on that same same case, YG, oh. after the Coachella party, YG had an after party. Uh, <laughs> there's another issue of gunshots. Another again. issue of gunshots. Look, we're just too much with these gunshots. Yeah, I think, like, the police. After the Coachella party, YG, uh -huh. there was another shooting incident. Thank God YG escaped and no one was shot. But still, it's it's like a recurring thing. Now, if. if three rappers in one month. Oh, so sad. But it's good news that all of them are safe yeah, true, and nothing true. happened to them. All right. So that's all we had for you on right here on Hip Hoping Live. Join us uh, next Thursday. We have more news coming away pertaining what has been happening in Kenya and globally. My name is Michelle Asher. If you feel like any story should be featured right here on Hip Hoping, all you have to do is reach out to me at Michelle Asher. And I'm Eddie Ogoe. We'll be bringing you more hip-hop news next week. And as usual, you know, we keep it lit all morning, every morning here on Y254. For now, good music. Let's get down to that. Good yes. hip-hop music. See yes. that it's Hip-Hop Thursday. <laughs>